All right, so here we go. So well water versus rainwater. <laughs> The biggest uh, reason why you would go with either, or the biggest reason why I went with what I went with, was simply law in my area. Um, talk to your health, your local health department. Make sure you get an answer from them. If you can do rainwater catchment, um, get it in writing uh, before you buy a property or start doing anything. If that's really important to you. Okay, so once you figure out if you can do rainwater catchment on your property or not, um, or if you have to have a well prior to doing it or whatever. Once you figure out what you can and can't do, and you gotta think about, you know, if you do have some options to do either, what you wanna do. So let's first talk about rainwater catchment. The pros with rainwater catchment, you're not disturbing the earth uh, to get it. You're not tapping into a limited uh, uh, aquifer of water underneath in the earth to get your water. You're getting what hopefully is good, clean water from the sky, and you're really having less of an impact on the environment. You're not giving the earth and taking it away. You're just you're just siphoning a little bit off before it hits the earth. So in my opinion, that's lighter on the environment. I, I believe in rainwater personally, and I think it's the purest thing that you can that you can probably get, um, assuming that you don't have things like acid rain in your area. Um, you do have to filter it, so there is an added expense. You also have to store it too. So you gotta you gotta have a specific type of roof to catch the water clean so it doesn't contaminate the water with like asphalt shingles, for example. You need to use like a, the best thing is a steel roof, uh, like a pro panel roof like we do in the earth ships. And then you gotta, you gotta buy uh, storage for it. So you gotta buy cisterns that you can bury in the ground below frost level and then you gotta store the water there. Then you gotta have all the filtration for it too. Um, and that can vary depending on your area and what's required of you for filtration in the area and also, you know, what you're trying to filter out. Like for example, like in my area, supposedly there's an occasional acid rain. Um, you know, acid rain can be neutralized um, with a base, I guess. I mean, the whole pH, you know, neutralization stuff, I don't know much about it, but I imagine you can probably neutralize acid rain. Um, and as far as, you know, bacteria, like, you know, bird droppings and other things that get into, the, you know, get on the roof and they get washed into your water supply, um, you know, thing, filters like UV and, uh, you know, like ceramic with uh, silver impregnated into it. Those types of filters um, can take all that stuff out. So that's what you have with, uh, with rainwater. With well water, if you get good water, which is a crapshoot, um, in my area I have uh, colloidal clay in mine, so I'm going to have to filter that out. I also have sulfur gas. Um, which will effervesce and leave on its own if you let it sit. So you probably have to have like a, I'll have to have like a holding tank that's vented or something like that if I want to get rid of the sulfur. But you know, you're gonna. There's a lot of expense in drilling a well hundreds of feet down into the ground. You know, it's it's questionable. It depends on your system, but it, it's not necessarily more or less expensive than the whole you know rainwater catchment system uh, with the filtration you need and with the. Uh, with the cisterns you need to buy and the holes you need to dig for it. Uh, you know, it can be more, it can be less, it can be around the same. It really just depends on so many factors, like the depth of your well and how much rainwater you want to catch and store and things like that. Um, it also really depends on if, you know, when you're drilling your well, what kind of water you get. If you get, there's lots of wells in my area where people have perfectly crisp, clean, beautiful, drinkable water um, right out of the ground. Um, in fact, we go to a spring nearby that uh, that uh, is like sort of like public to use, and we just literally pump the it, open a spigot, the water comes right out, and we can drink it right there. It's great. So if that's the case, if you drill a well and it's not too deep, not costing you too much, and it comes out like that, well then you know a well probably is going to be less expensive than even rainwater catchment because you don't need all the filtration systems and stuff like that. Uh, but if you have to go really deep, and or if you get you know non-potable water out of your well. Well then, maybe that can be more expensive. So yeah, there's unknowns on both sides. You know, you may not get always get good water out of the sky, but you also may not always get good water out of the ground. If it was up to me, I would probably go with the rainwater, because at least with rainwater, you have a certain amount. You know, you, it rains a certain amount, and then you know what you have, and you're storing that, and you can ration it if you feel like you need to. With a groundwater well, you are at the mercy of your neighbors 
and also state law that dictates how people can use their wells. Because wells can go dry in drought and if people around you are just using too much water. If you have like, you know, 50 p pools in your neighborhood that people are filling in like the springtime, it's possible your well will go dry for a while um, until the aquifers have a chance to recharge. Um, in California um, right now, the NASA just said that uh, California has like 12 months of water left in, the aquif in its aquifers underground before the whole state runs out of water. Um, if they keep using at the consumption rate they're currently using. I mean, that's extremely scary. You are at the mercy of, 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 your, uh, of your government and you're at the mercy of, of your neighbors and what industry is doing in your area um, with, you know, with water usage and also contamination to determine if you have good potable water or any water at all. So it feels like to me that um, rainwater is, is the better way to go. And that's my personal opinion. What's yours? That was kind of a dumb way to end that.